It's estimated nearly 25% of Detroit households don't have access to a motor vehicle. Yeah, and you combine that with the outrageous cost of car insurance and you understand why many need another option to get around. And thanks to the efforts of the Downtown Detroit Partnership, Metro Detroit has one. That's right. Carolyn Clifford joins us now to tell us more about it. Well, Alan and a new a woman by the name of Lisa Nuskowski created a way for Detroiters in desperate need of transportation to get around affordably. And the Downtown Detroit Partnership helped her raise the funds and the awareness for what Metro Detroit now knows as MoGo. And tonight, that's why she is our Detroit 2020 change maker. Andrea McCollum is like one of every four Detroiters living without a car. I actually commuted to work from Detroit to Southfield. And a two wheel bike is how she does it, whether rain, shine, sleet, or even snow. A commute made easier by the nonprofit MoGo. You have the ability to travel when you want to travel, the convenience of going to the location, and not have to worry about parking. It's exciting to have MoGo make a difference in Detroit. Lisa Nuskowski founded the rideshare program in May of 2017 and is revolutionizing how Metro Detroiters get from point A to point B. Bike share is one of those really great options, uh, particularly for shorter distance trips. You can hop on a bike, it can connect you to public transit, it can connect you uh, to job, to school. MoGo has nearly 2,000 members and it's growing. So we've got 430 bikes at 44 stations located in 10 Detroit neighborhoods. This is how it works. For eight bucks, you can have access to one of these red bikes for 24 hours in 30 minute increments. At the 30 minute mark, the bike has to go back into one of these docking stations. You can go about your business and pick up another bike later or simply check the same bike out again. Andrea is one of MoGo's most active riders. Out of 35,000 plus people who ride, she's among the top 10. And because she relies on state aid, she gets a break on the price, paying only $5 for an annual access pass. You're cutting back on gas, you're saving on insurance rates. That comes into play, especially for someone that may be on a limited income. And for those with special needs, you have adaptable bikes. Whether this recumbent bike or this one where you can actually wheel a passenger around with you. And what it offers is simply priceless and life-changing. Gives you freedom? Freedom, absolute freedom. Especially for people who really need transportation. With the help of the Downtown Detroit Partnership, come early spring, MoGo will be adding another 31 MoGo stations and another 150 bikes. This will include the Livernois, McNichols area in Detroit, Ferndale, Huntington Woods, Royal Oak, Berkeley, and Southern Oakland County is going to mean so much to so many people. And you know what? If you have people coming to Detroit for the first time, that's a great way to tour Detroit. I haven't been on a bike in a long time. <laughs> we'll turn there on there. Yeah. You didn't forget, as yeah. they say. Yeah. But, you know, I got the hang of it. No, it's great, though. And it's all about access, too, yes. for people who need it. Yeah, so. very accessible, for sure. And as you mentioned, it's a great way to tour the city, for sure. I'm going to have to get one of those bikes this spring. Eight bucks for 24 hours, Alan. There you go. I can do it. Right. I can do it. I don't know if I can ride for 24 hours, but I'll try. <laughs>